My name is Tara Manisic, TZ Manix on the Twitter and GitHub. I am here today to talk to you about creating a project in Vue with the Kendo UI library. And this is video two in this series. Video one, we went over what Kendo UI is and everything that you get with our components. So if you've already seen that, or if you just want to jump into the project, you're in the right place. <laughs> Today, for our agenda, we will be starting off our project. And the project, so you know ahead of time, basically we'll be making a way for people to uh, vote on things and see in a visualization how people voted in comparison. For this project, we'll be focusing on, there are a lot of technical terms, uh, or terms in the tech field that people don't... Uh, really agree on the pronunciation of, so we will be taking some of those hard to pronounce or hard to um, decide who is correct in pronouncing words <laughs> and let people vote on these by having buttons that will play sounds of the pronunciations and then letting them vote and displaying the vote results. So. Today, we will start out by first creating our Vue project using the Vue CLI, and then we will install the different Kendo UI components that we need in order to create this project. Let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing that we need to do is get the Vue CLI into our system globally. <clears throat> you can check out Vue.js templates. Uh, this is a tool that I like using the Vue CLI to make out a scaffolding of your Vue project for you because, you know, especially if you're creating a good amount of projects, it gets really redundant making all the different files and everything to set up your Vue application when you just want to jump in. Kenda UI, we're all about saving time. Um, but still making really great applications. So you can see there are a bunch of different templates and I am a very big progressive web app fan. So we will be using the PWA template and we'll talk a little bit more about what you get with this in the last video when we do our wrap up. For now, <clears throat> you can just take a look here and uh, get a good idea of what is included inside of this template uh, render of of a project for the Vue CLI, but you see first here that we're going to, of course, install it using npm. So we just run npm i g view CLI and we do the npm magic so fast. <laughs> so now that we have that installed, we see that we just need to run view init pwa and then our project name, which we will call kendo ui view now it downloads the template and it starts asking us questions if you've ever done things like um you npm in it you are used to this like walkthrough firebase tons of things do this so yes that is a project name that we want this short name uh actually is part of your app manifest which is part of progressive web apps and one of the best things is that it supports emojis. So we're going to go ahead and add a few delightful emojis. Some of my favorites. <laughs> and obviously, we need some kind of food in there. A taco, of course. And we'll just say this is an awesome Kendo UI art view project. We can always go back and change these to be more descriptive later. I am in fact the author. We will go ahead and use the runtime and compiler. We do not need the router and we always want to use ESLint. Standard is my favorite. Um, if you like standard, you can always, uh, Ferris has a Patreon, you can donate to that. <laughs> And let's pretend that we test all the time. But really, we should. <laughs> then we go ahead and change into our directory. And we see that we have, if we look inside and list everything that we have, we have the readme, build, config, and everything. And we can run npm install to get everything we need. 
And that's it. Magical how fast this is, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and clear out our screen. <clears throat> the next thing we want to do then is add our components. There are a ton of components that we have for, for Vue from the Kenda UI for Vue library. So here's a good rundown of what we have. Today we will be using the buttons and the charts. So if we take a look at buttons, I already zoomed down to <laughs> where we needed to be. We can see uh, we have a bunch of information here, the different types of buttons we use, but we will just be using a button today because there's a lot of really great functionality that you can get with it. So. The first thing, as you see here, we need to do is install the Kenda UI library and one of the themes. There are also a bunch of different themes. And you see here under styling and themes, you have the ability to use default, uh, which is the Kenda UI default theme, bootstrap or material. And then there's also a styling um, style builder that we'll link below. But today we're going to use the default theme because I think it's great. <laughs> I like the colors. <laughs> so the other part that we'll use is the chart. And if we take a look at the documentation, you can see, you can see that for these, we also need the theme and the UI, but then we also just need this Kendo Charts View Wrapper. So, if we go ahead, we can do all of these in one field swoop in one, in one single NPM install call. And there we have our pieces. So we'll clear that out. And to keep these videos short, that will be it for this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and um, bring the buttons into our view project. We'll get rid of all the other information that is in the starter project and start building out our project by first bringing in the buttons and utilizing those to get some user feedback. So hope to see you in video three of this series. Again, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us on Twitter. The team and I are at Kendo UI on Twitter, and you can find me at TZ Mannix. We also have the link to the repo for this project that we're creating down below, along with the list of all the other videos. So <laughs> I hope that you come along on the journey, and thank you for coding with me today. See you soon.